Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, continuing looking at the book of Ecclesiastes on a message about living in times of depression. And we began by evaluating the complaint that Solomon had about life and the world. And then we proceeded by seeing that Solomon wasn't being completely honest, that he knew he had contributed personally to the suffering that he was so unhappy about. But, but that said, it is still true, or at least partly true, those other elements of his complaint, circumstances can derail all our good works and leave us wondering what is the benefit of our good behavior. If a virus can wipe out my savings and trillions of dollars just appear, disappear from the economy in a few weeks, then how did it pay me to save when I am now on equal footing with those who did not save? If this virus can overwhelm health that I have tried to build through careful practices, then how did it pay me to be so careful when I am now on an equal footing with those who were careless of their health. These are the kinds of questions that we might ask, and the world is chancy in this way. And we will not all live to a ripe old age, whether or not this virus had occurred. Here again, part of the essence of Solomon's complaint is either you die young or you die old. You die one way or the other. Sometimes maybe better to die young. Solomon says, I'm going to read a few of his words from the 12th chapter and try to explain them a little bit. Remember also your creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come and the years draw near when you will say, I have no delight in them before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return after the rain in the day that the watchmen of the house tremble and the mighty men stoop and the grinding ones stand idle because they are few and those who look through the windows grow dim and the doors on the street are shut as the sound of the grinding mill is low and one will arise at the sound of the bird and all the daughters of song will sing softly furthermore men are afraid of high places and terrors on the road the almond tree blossoms the grasshopper drags himself along and the caper berry is ineffective for man goes to his eternal home while mourners go about in the street. In these verses, Solomon describes, using several metaphors, what it is like to grow old. The watchmen of the house tremble, which is to say that your hands become palsied and shake, and it's difficult for you to do the work that you used to do with them. And the mighty men stoop, that is your legs will no longer straighten out and hold you erect the way they used to. And that confident, strong stride that you had in your youth disappears. And the grinding ones stand idle because they are few, your teeth fall out. And this troubles you because you can't talk right and you can't eat things the way you used to. And those who look through the windows grow dim. You don't see as well as you used to either. And the doors on the street are shut as the sound of the grinding mill is low. You don't hear as well as you used to either. And you jump out of bed at the sound of a bird. You don't sleep as well as you used to either. And the daughters of song, your voice is shot and you can't sing as well as you used to. And you once were afraid of nothing, but now you're afraid to 
climb a ladder or go out on the road without a bodyguard and the almond tree blossoms, which is to say your hair turns gray and some of us would say, oh, if only for us, our hair falls out and the grasshopper drags himself along and the caper berry is ineffective. We're all adults here. Your sex life is shot and even Viagra won't help. And man goes to his eternal home while mourners go about in the street. We will all die. This troubled Solomon. And we will all, if we live long enough, grow old and experience weakness and infirmity. And this troubled Solomon. And in the New Testament, God promises nothing else. For all man is appointed once to die. And then the judgment. And John, the only apostle who didn't die prematurely, lived to be old and feeble before he went, as Solomon says, to his long home. At base, this virus threatens us and scares us senseless because we may die. But I'm going to tell you now, you will die. If not from this, if not this day, from something else, and soon enough, those who are not planning to die are not planning well. But now I will try to give you the first hint of good news. In Jesus Christ, and oh, if Solomon had only lived to see, in Jesus Christ, God conquers death. The last enemy is trampled under the feet of our Savior. And for us, to live is Christ, to die is gain. For we know where we are going. If you would pray with me. Father, protect us from the terror of death that afflicts the world and the fear of age that does the same. Give us a hope that transcends all these things and knows what you have done in Jesus Christ. For we ask it in his name. Amen.